Louisiana residents falling behind on rent due to the pandemic can now take advantage of the state's rental assistance program. The program will take those who qualify and pay up to three months of their rent. But as Josh Robertson explains, the people on the front lines of the housing crisis say the money doesn't go far enough. Uh, this too will be administered on a first come first serve basis. With up to $24 million currently allocated, state officials say those who meet certain requirements should apply now if they've been unable to recently make their rent payments. Um, there are some individuals who will not be able to participate in the program, and I want to be clear, individuals who are already receiving governmental rental assistance will not be applicable to this program. Individuals who are living uh, in public housing will not be applicable to this program. We don't understand this. I mean, this, this is a pre-COVID problem, right? The, the, the failure to put housing first. It's been a very confusing where we, you know, we wish we had uh, had some more time to examine it. We wish that they had been in more communication with us. Andronika Morris with Housing NOLA says that 24 million won't even scratch the surface of the number of renters who can't make ends meet right now due to COVID-19. And it's frustrating when looking at the dollars spent in other areas of need. We had hoped for, you know, the kind of leadership that saw the convention center turned into a temporary hospital at the cost of $200 million, a $300 million small business program to go along with the over $8 billion that have already come into small businesses. We'd hope to see that kind of leadership eventually um, exhibited with the housing crisis. Morris says according to her team's most generous estimates, there should be at least 200 million more tacked on to the program to cover those who need rent assistance. And that requirements, like a cap on their income, will make it hard for many to qualify anyway. And what that represents in the state of Louisiana is for a household of one, 13,000, all the way up to 25,000 for households of four or more. Cunningham talked about the fact that, you know, by their estimates, about 14% of Louisianians are struggling right now. That's 146,000 households. $24 million divided by 146,000 isn't $200. Mm -hmm. So it's the, what the programs that are being rolled out don't even match their analysis. We're looking at census data that says last month, 300,000 households missed rent. And while the state has said it will hopefully be able to allocate more down the road, Morris says if evictions start to skyrocket, this housing crisis will quickly become a health crisis. We can't just leave it to hope. That's that's the part of this is that uh, our elected officials, these policymakers represent the people and the people are going to have to speak out clearly that this is this is no longer acceptable. Josh Robertson, Fox 8, Local First.